Star Wars fans, it's time. The finale of The Book of Boba Fett is almost here. It's time to preview what we expect to happen in Episode 7 of The Book of Boba Fett. And yeah, man, we think this is going to be like a Royal Rumble in Mos Espa. I am Boba Fett. Tatooine belongs to the Syndicate. I am Daimyo here. This is a moment! Let's break it down. What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerdvengers Tower. As per usual, smash a like on this video if you cannot wait until the finale of The Book of Boba Fett. Is it going to be okay if we have high expectations for this episode? Would y'all mind if I got a little super hyped about the finale? And I wanted to start with those questions because last week was weird. Weird. I was so dang excited for Luke Skywalker and Grogu, and I thought for sure that was what was going to be happening in that episode. And yet a huge amount of Star Wars fans said, no, Josh, don't get yourself too excited. Don't get yourself too amped up about Luke Skywalker. That'll probably happen off camera or in Mando season three. It's going to go back to Boba in the robe. I understand with what happened with Ralph boner in WandaVision. Boner. <laughs> we are a little bit more cautious, trepidatious, if you will, about super hype things happening. And when it comes to Star Wars, particularly with the Book of Boba Fett, the show before the last couple of episodes has been, uh, well, uh, kind of boring. But now, after we had an amazing Luke Skywalker show up teaching Grogu about the Force, Ahsoka coming in and saying that Luke's a lot like his father, and just all the amazing incredible fan service that we got in that episode, maybe now we can finally all join hands and get super hyped up for the finale of Book of Boba Fett. Let's fucking go. Let's start with this. Yes, I do believe this episode is going to be much like a classic shootout at the end of a big western. The outlaws have come into town and the new sheriff Boba Fett has recruited new gun hands and muscle. All signs point to a big old fight going down in Mos Espa. So who's all going to be joining this crazy fight and what are they going to be doing? Well, let's first talk about Boba. Boba's going to be getting into the action and a lot of fans are anticipating Boba Fett to finally be all crazy like he was John Wick in The Mandalorian Season 2. Boba hasn't been the most badass part of his own show and that isn't sitting well with some Boba Fett fans. And luckily, I do think in the finale, Boba's going to show Show up and show up big. Here's a tweet right here by a member of ILM teasing out the fact that Boba Fett will have an epic thing to do in the finale. Tamara Morrison also teased out how absolutely crazy the finale was going to be. But it's not just going to be that Boba's going to be gunning people down. We also think he might make something of a grand entrance. And I'm talking about the Rancor. A long-standing rumor about the Book of Boba Fett was that we would see Tamara Morrison as Boba Fett riding atop a Rancor in the show. The obvious choice would be to have that go down in the finale, and I think it would be absolutely awesome if Boba Fett is riding around on a Rancor, crushing the pikes, blasting them, and fighting on a top of a crazy awesome mount like a Rancor. So that's what I expect from Boba Fett, and if that happens, I think a lot of Boba Fett fans will be like, okay, thank God, you know what I mean? Here we go. Now, Fennec, the Gamorreans, and the Vespa Squad are likely to be doing some action, and I expect them to be doing some fun things, particularly Fennec, but I don't know that they're going to get a ton of shine considering some of the other fun characters that I think will show up. I mean, Black Kersantin is still in the show, recruited as muscle for Boba, and I'm hoping we see Kersantin get out there, do some crazy stuff, rip off a few more arms, wouldn't be mad about it. And in the name of fan service, I really do believe he does a lot more in this finale. Cad Bane, who was just introduced in the last episode of Book of Boba Fett and is the official poster released today from Star Wars. Yeah, he's definitely going to get some shine in this finale. I think he's going to be taking out a bunch of different people in Mos Espa, and it's likely that this will lead to a direct conflict between Boba Fett and Cad Bane. Now, a lot of fans point out the sort of un 
unfinished scene from the Clone Wars where Cad Bane gives the dent that is in Boba's helmet. A lot of people anticipating some reference to that, perhaps even seeing it happen in a flashback or something like that. And I think it's fair play to expect Cad Bane to go crazy, do some really badass stuff, and have a direct conflict with Boba at some point in this episode. Let's talk about Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. Obviously, he's going to get a lot of shine, fan favorite character coming in as a big part of the back half of the Book of Boba Fett. I expect him to do some blast and I expect him to do some flying around. I expect him to use that dark saber at least a little bit and I can't wait to see it. And oh yes, we're going to talk about Luke Skywalker as I do anticipate Luke being a part of the finale. Now let's start with the fanboy dream, what I hope is going to happen and that's that Grogu decides to pick the armor. Luke realizes he needs to take Grogu back to Din Djarin. He finds him on Tatooine and comes in the middle of the fight and says, hey, this is my home turf too. I'm going to help Boba Fett out. And I would absolutely love to see Luke Skywalker with the green lightsaber running around Mos Espa helping in this epic showdown. However, it's probably more likely that he'll just show up maybe after the fighting with Grogu. I do think he's going to be in the episode. I'm hoping he does some action, but we don't know for sure. Maybe he just shows up after the dust settles. So that's all the stuff we do expect to be in the episode. You know, Luke a little bit loose, but I feel strongly that he will be. Now let's talk about some rumors and some speculation on things that could happen. Han Solo. Han Solo. And yes, Star Wars fans, it is an established rumor that Han Solo will appear in the finale of the book of Boba Fett. Some people are saying it's going to be Harrison Ford. A lot of people say it'll probably be de-aged using the same technology they use with Luke Skywalker. And if this indeed happens, I think it's very likely it is Harrison Ford but de-aged using that tech. I think this would be amazing. I think just like seeing Luke again in this form is very cool for fans. Seeing Han from this time period in the Star Wars canon would be an absolute delight. So I'm really hoping that that rumor is true. Who knows? Maybe he'll even be doing a little blasting with that DL-44. Let's talk about Leia. Now, there is definitely not an established rumor of Leia being in the show, but it's something that I think is possible and would make a lot of sense. I mean, one of the things we didn't get to see in the sequels was that original trilogy crew with Leia, Han, and Luke sharing the screen together. And it's a damn shame that we didn't get that. However, John and Dave making fan dreams come true, literally doing stuff we never thought possible. So why not really amplify this? Have Leia, Han, and Luke share the screen together? It would be really exciting. Now let's talk about Kylo Ren, who at the time will be Ben Solo, but it's very possible that Ben Solo appears in the finale of the Book of Boba Fett. For one, one, this would make a lot of sense as to why Leia and Han would show up if they're sending Ben to go train with Luke. Perhaps they're all just meeting up at Tatooine. Viewer Anon, who is a popular scooper out there, did imply that there's a major sequel trilogy tie-in in the finale of Book of Boba Fett, and he also clarified that the tie-in he was teasing was not the temple that Luke Skywalker built in Episode 6. So again, I think the best move here would be a young Ben solo i think that would be really exciting it might trigger a few people i would personally be hyped up for it let's talk about kira because yes it is still very possible that amelia clark as kira will pop up in the finale of the book of boba fett in fact this was an established rumor from a long time ago the theme of crimson dawn appears in the music for the book of boba fett and i've had several people reach out to me directly and say yes kira will be in the finale. She could just be in there as sort of a boss figure that's saying some dope stuff, setting her up for future episodes, or maybe she literally comes out and does her own action sequences, which I think would be really, really cool. And the last thing I want to say is that it is still possible that Bosk shows up alongside Cad Bane or maybe to help Boba out in the finale. There's not a lot of evidence for this, but it was a rumor that happened a long time ago, and I just love the character of Bosk, so I think I would be personally a little upset if Bosk didn't show up in the show. Now, the very last thing I want to leave you with is this idea that the end of this episode will actually set up several story arcs for major characters moving forward. I think we will 
we'll get an idea of what Luke is doing from here. I think we'll get an idea of what Din Djarin and Grogu are doing from here. But we're also going to discover what Boba Fett is going to do. And I'm very interested because partially I feel like he could go join Mando going to Mandalore trying to sort of purge himself to be worthy of being a Mandalorian again but that would kind of defeat the purpose of him taking the throne of Jabba and him taking over Tatooine so is he just going to stay on Tatooine is it now going to be pretty established in the galaxy that Boba Fett rules over Mos Espa and perhaps all of Tatooine I don't know but I am expecting some scenes between Din and Boba perhaps even Luke and the whole gang talking it out and I think that we'll leave the book of Boba Fett with a much more clear understanding of what to expect in Mandalorian season three in the Ahsoka show and possibly even in other shows that we haven't even heard about yet either way this is a very hyped episode Star Wars fans are incredibly excited to see what goes down in episode seven we will be doing a watch party we will be doing a big video breaking it all down and we'll probably talk about it in live streams for the rest of the week so like this video if you liked it subscribe to this channel see more of our content pop up in your recommended feed check me out on tiktok check out the podcast on spotify and apple i just sat down with soups matt ramos very good conversation go check that out and make sure you check out that live streaming channel man for the watch parties the q a all the fun that we have over there as i always say i hope you are having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video